This is just a demonstration to show a streamlined process for bringing your images into a square canvas. So I'm in Photoshop here and I've just created a new blank canvas. Um, these are the settings. 1000 by 1000, 72 pixels per inch, RGB with a white background. Um, and what I'm going to do now, that's our blank canvas, is bring in a number of images by dragging them on to the canvas. And this will bring them in as smart objects. It will automatically resize the images to the either the height or the width and it will centre them on, on the canvas whilst also retaining the file name so you can save them quite easily. So once you've created the blank canvas in Photoshop, go to your file browser. This can be, I'm using um, Adobe Bridge, but you could also use the Finder, whichever, whichever you prefer. And with Photoshop open here, we can now select the images. I'll just move the uh, windows around so you can see. I'll select the images here. You can select any number of images you want to bring in. And then just drag them onto that canvas. And you'll see Adobe brings them in. You can either double click like that. And it just brings them in, resizes them, and it maintains the file name here. And this greatly speeds up the process. Another thing you can do is just hit enter as they come in. Now you can see the landscape images are coming in. And <clears throat> they're all resized to the 1000 by 1000. And they are also, as I say, they've st still got the file names. So now once you've done this, you can make them all invisible and just one by one save them. So before we save them, we just want to copy this file name. So select the file name or the layer name, control C to copy that. And then we go to file, save for web, save, then save it into a new folder paste the file name and then save. Then we can go to the next one, copy, control C, file, save for web, save, save, oops, I didn't save it by the correct file name, so file, save for web, save, put in the correct file name, and save. File, save for web. Up. Oh. Once you've uh, done a few of these, it'll become second nature. Save for web. Save. and so on, until you've saved all the, the files that you've brought in. Um, and this is just a, a very streamlined way of, of resizing them all, because it just brings them in automatically for you. Um, the issue, if you find that when you bring in your Im images that they look too small, I'll just show you what I mean by that. Um, some of these original images were saved at a, a higher than normal dot, dots per inch. Everything on the screen has to be 72 dots per inch. And these are saved at more of a sort of print resolution. So what happens when you bring these in to a 72 dot per inch canvas is they look very small. Now, if this happens, you do, of course, have the option of resizing but obviously that's a bit of a pain and um, you're not sure if it's centered and but that that is an option 
and then you'd have to move this. So um, that was the problem that I alluded to in my email. What I'm hoping we can do, if, if um, that is a problem, um, is that I might be able to batch, re batch process them to have a standard 72 dots per inch. Um, but maybe we'll talk about that a bit later. So the final part of the jigsaw is that, um, well, it's not a jigsaw as such, but uh, when you come to replace your images, I just wanted to demonstrate how that would work. So this image here is obviously a full, um, a rectangular image. And say we wanted to replace that. So I'll go back into Photoshop. And here's one I did earlier. Um, I brought the long tail tip mouse into um, a square canvas. So I'll just copy the file name. And I'll save this file, save for web, and put it in demo optimized, give it the proper name. And now to replace this image, normally what you'd have to do in WooCommerce in WordPress is you'd have to delete the image and then cop bring it in again, rename everything, and you know, go through the whole process. But there's a, a handy replace media feature here that I've added. So you can upload a new file, choose the file, and here's the one that we processed earlier. And then simply click on upload. And here we have the new image with its uh, white borders, the square image, and then click on update. And now we have a new, so if we go to the front end, there it is. And it's a, a much better size now in the uh, on the product page, um, and that's uh, an overview of resizing your images.